Color Source consoles have a feature that allow you to edit cues and sequences very easily. Edits in the system are all done live, meaning that you have to see your lights on the stage to know what it is you're recording. Sometimes, however, you end up with a mix of playbacks and cues on the stage at the same time. So I'll just get us into that state so you can see what I mean. So here I have the yellow down lights, which are a combination of my playbacks number one and two, and my moving lights, which are coming from Q11. If I want to edit Q11 right now, I don't want those down lights included because they're separately recorded for a reason. Same thing is true if I'm running a sequence on a playback with cues running at the same time. If my chase is coming from a playback and my cue list is active, I might want to make changes to the steps of my chase without also including the contents of the cue that's live on stage. So these edit functions work basically the same way. It just depends whether I'm editing a cue or editing a step in a sequence. To get here, I use the record edit key. And you can see in the center of that menu, there's an edit section with cue list and sequence list as the options. We'll start with the cue list. When I enter this view, I see the cue list at the top. I see a bit of my stage map below. And my soft keys have changed to functions related to making new cues, copying cues, deleting cues, and our new edit cue button. Now I can choose the cue that I wish to edit, in this case, Q11. And right now I can change the text name of that cue or the timings of that cue using the cells at the top of the screen. If I want to edit the contents of this cue, I need to press the edit cue button. If you look at the visualization, you'll see that the down lights are no longer live on stage. I'm only seeing the contents of Q11 right now. The playbacks are still live in the live state, but in this edit cue stage, they're being suppressed so that I can be very specific about what I'm editing. Now I can select lights and make changes, like turn a light blue, for example, and I can choose to store just that single edit or if I need to make changes across a number of cues in a sequence, or in a sequential fashion rather, I can use the store and next key to both store Q11 with its changes and automatically select Q12 for editing without leaving this mode. I'm just gonna change the one cue right now, so I'll hit store. It's asking me to confirm that I wanna make this change, yes. And now I can carry on editing other cues if I wish, or I can exit this mode. And now Q11 has been updated with our single blue light in it. The same is true if I want to work on a chase sequence. So I'm going to clear everything right now and bring up a chase sequence. You can see this is a simple three color chase. Edit, sequence list, pick the one you wish to edit, and now I can say I want to choose the first step and edit just that step. If there were cues playing at the same time right now, those would be suppressed and just this single step would be shown so that I can make the adjustments I need to make. The same rules apply if I want to just store this single step and then manually cho choose another step to edit, I can hit the store key. And if I want to move sequentially through this list, I can use the store and next key. If I don't mean to keep any of the changes that I've made, I can use the cancel key or I can just exit the mode.